The 2020 Grammy Awards pay tribute to Kobe Bryant, Billie Eilish makes Grammys history, and stars use the red carpet as a platform for political statements. I'm Tiffany Taylor, and right now I've got the top stories you need to know today from The Hollywood Reporter News. The 62nd annual Grammys kicked off on Sunday night by paying tribute to NBA superstar Kobe Bryant, who tragically lost his life earlier that day along with his daughter Gianna, and seven others in a shocking helicopter crash. THR's Neha Joy has more on how music's biggest night honored one of basketball most legendary icons. Lizzo acknowledged the basketball legend right at the top of the show before her opening performance, announcing tonight is for Kobe. Grammy's host Alicia Keys also addressed the tragic passing, appearing somber as she opened the show, honoring the iconic athlete inside the Staples Center, the longtime home of the Los Angeles Lakers, who Bryant played for his entire NBA career. We're literally standing here heartbroken in the house that Kobe Bryant built. The singer was then joined by surprise guests Boyz II Men for an impromptu a cappella performance of their 1991 version of the classic, It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday. Later in the show, Keys serenaded the audience and addressed Kobe's love for music, saying, I know how much he loved music, so we've got to make this a celebration in his honor. The tributes to the NBA legend were sprinkled throughout the night, such as during Aerosmith and Run DMC's performance of Walk This Way, when one of the performers held up one of Bryant's number 24 Lakers jerseys, as well as during Lil Nas X's star-studded performance of Old Town Road, which started off with a rapper in a living room with Bryant's jersey next to him. Billy Ray Cyrus played a guitar with the number 24 on it, and one of the performers cried out at the end of the performance, Kobe, we love you. Bryant was also remembered during a tribute to the late rapper Nipsey Hussle, with a Lakers star's image emblazoned next to Hussle's on a screen at the back of the stage at the end of the performance. Both of Bryant's retired jersey numbers were illuminated in the Staples Center rafters, which the cameras focused on during Key's opener. Outside Staples Center, hundreds if not thousands of Laker fans gathered around the stadium, with flowers and yellow and purple balloons in hand to pay tribute to Kobe. The 2020 Grammys saw 18-year-old singer-songwriter Billie Eilish make history, becoming the youngest artist ever to win all four of the Big Four categories in one night, as she took home Best New Artist and Album of the Year for When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, as well as Song of the Year and record of the year for bad guy. I'm the bad guy. Not only that, but Eilish is the only female artist to win the Big Four Awards in the same night, and the second artist ever to do so, after Christopher Cross in 1981. Eilish also took home the 2020 Grammy for Best Pop Vocal Album. She told the crowd this when she took the stage to accept her award for Song of the Year. I'm so grateful, and I only want to say that I'm grateful and that I'm so honored to be here. And the Grammy Awards provided yet another platform for stars to display their political views on Sunday. Notorious MAGA fan Joy Villa showed her support for President and Donald Trump by wearing a gown that read Trump 2020 on the front and impeached and re-elected on the back. Singer-songwriter Ricky Rebel likewise advocated on behalf of Trump, writing impeach this on, yes, his backside, to go with a fringe top and an umbrella canopy prop. He crawled, yeah, he crawled on the red carpet at the Staples Center to show off the look. Rebel recently released the pro-Trump song, Sheep, that refers to fake news, shows footage of protests, and depicts the singer in a Make America Great Again hat. On the other side of the spectrum this year, Grammy's host Alicia Keys called out Trump during the show. Commander in chief impeached, y'all get out, let's bring Cardi B in. Cardi. Can you please show these people what to do? Meanwhile, beneath the sea of lights, actress and Arab Fashion Council ambassador Megan Pormer donned an embellished red dress on the red carpet that said, No War Iran. And Keb Moe and Robbie Brooks Moore walked the 2020's Grammys red carpet together with a black leather purse reading, Vote, with imagery of the earth, a rainbow peace sign, and gender signs. For much more on all these stories and the latest Hollywood news, be sure to subscribe to our THR News YouTube channel. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.